Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share with you how I rejuvenated my PEI sheet. So as many of you know, I have a Prusa i3 MK2. And the MK2 comes with a heated build plate that is covered with a sheet of PEI. And the PEI material is uh, very good for the vast majority of filaments on the market and will give you very good adhesion while still allowing the part to be released after the print is finished. The problem I had was that after several hundred prints on this machine, uh, I was having issues with adhesion. And it got worse and worse over time and eventually was to the point where even large prints with a solid contact area on the bottom uh, were slowly pulling up and curling on the corners and whatnot. So I consulted the internet and several of the 3D printing groups and also the uh, owner's manual for the Prusa i3. And one of the most common suggestions is to use one of these scrubber sponges and use this scrubbing side to rather aggressively uh, scrub down your build plate and then clean it with alcohol. So I did that and then resumed printing and after several prints it was pretty obvious that this had improved my bed adhesion but it didn't really fix the problem. So the next step was to get a little more aggressive. If you do some looking online there are people that recommend using 2000 grit sandpaper but I went with uh, a little coarser grit and went to my local home improvement store and got some 1500 grit sandpaper and some acetone. And between the two of these, uh, I completely rejuvenated my PEI sheet and it, it wasn't quite as good as when the sheet was new, but my adhesion is fantastic and it still releases quite nicely after the prints are finished. So as you can see here, we have my PEI sheet and it's in relatively good condition. It's kind of inevitable that over time you're going to get kind of some scuffs and scrapes and mars from getting prints off of the build plate. But for the most part, these will not affect adhesion or the, the finish on your final product. So what we're gonna do is take a sheet of our 1500 grit sandpaper and rather aggressively scrub the entire build surface until we get kind of a, an even finish on it. Then when we're done, we're simply going to take a paper towel or a microfiber cloth is better or anything really that doesn't uh, produce lint or leave little particles behind. And we're going to wipe everything down with our acetone. And that is essentially it. Uh, the nice thing about this is that it does give you kind of a rough finish, but it's still very smooth because the, the grit of the sandpaper is so fine. Uh, one other advantage is is that even though this is a little bit more aggressive than our scrubber sponge, uh, we're doing so little damage to the PEI sheet that I think you could do this a number of times uh, if you'd ever notice that your adhesion is, is kind of reduced again. Uh, you could just repeat this process and you'll be basically back to, to normal. One thing I will note is that while I do recommend you use acetone for this uh, rejuvenation procedure, uh, it's totally unnecessary for day-to-day -day use. And this stuff is, is a little nasty, so if you don't have to expose yourself to it on a regular basis, I absolutely wouldn't. And isopropyl alcohol is more than sufficient for day-to-day -day cleaning. So I'd like to thank everybody for checking out my channel. If you enjoyed this video or found the information useful, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'd like to thank everyone who supports me on Patreon. Uh, it really does make a big difference and allows me to spend more time on content like this than I would otherwise be able to do. So thanks everyone.